What's up guys, John here and welcome to Baltimore Retro Gaming. And I don't know if you remember last year that company CD, S-E-E-D-I-C-D. -E -E well, they had a product they were about to release. They got into some like criticism issues or whatever. I'm not even gonna talk about that. But this was this really cool CD-based emulation system. And guys, I got an email yesterday that they do have a new piece of technology coming out. So I'm gonna show you that email and the website that they have that the email kind of redirects you to. So let's check it out. Okay guys, this is the email I got from CD yesterday and basically what it says is we have a new piece of software coming out. It's for the PC and what it'll do is any game you stick in the CD drive, the software will read that game and use that game with any corresponding emulator. That sounds pretty cool. It sounds like a pretty, you know, price effective option for people that don't want to spend tons and tons of money. So this is the website that you go to after you click the link in the email. And after you click the link, it pretty much gives you access to a beta version. They give you a download for a beta. And I don't know if every system is compatible at this point. It's just a limited amount of systems because it's a trial version. I don't know. But the list of systems this thing can emulate, it's, uh, let's see, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, Turbo CD, PC Engine, Sega CD, Mega CD. So it looks like it's multi-region. Neo Geo CD, 3DO CD, Amiga 32, Jaguar CD, Dreamcast CD, ours, not the original, GD, ROMs. Eh, that's still cool, I guess. PCFX and did we miss anything? So I'm assuming they're probably going to add a few more systems to this list. Now, this list of systems this thing can emulate sounds like it's perfect for RetroArch. You know, RetroArch is a pretty amazing piece of software. It's an open source emulation system that can emulate multiple systems. And that sounds like that, that piece of software, that RetroArch, is made for this piece of software, this CD software. So there are a few pieces of hardware they do recommend on their website, and let's look into those. Okay, so guys, in the email, you know, when you read the email, it does suggest a few pieces of hardware that they recommend to make this thing like a super awesome, like, mega system. Okay, so let's get into this. So the first thing they recommend is this little small mini computer with a CD or an optical drive, and it says on their email that it should cost right around $150, like, you know, for a computer with a CD drive. Okay, I get that. And then the next thing that they recommend is the retro cartridge adapter, and they say that can be bought for right around $65. Now, I'm assuming they want that in conjunction with the computer because if you have a CD drive, you can read all the CD-based games. You need this retro so you can play a lot of your cartridge-based games. I think the thing will do like um, Genesis, Super Nintendo, you know, maybe Master System and NES. You know, I'm not quite sure. I don't know a lot about the retro. I know it's a device you use to dump ROMs with. But other than that, I know it'll do multiple systems, so I could see why they would want you to use that with the little rig, the PC that they have. And another thing that they recommend is a Wiimote light gun and dolphin bar. And I'm assuming that we got to that point in technology where we can use pretty much use light guns now with you know a piece of software. I guess you have your Wiimote, your uh, your sensor, and then you have like a piece of software that can use that with retro games. I'm assuming. That's pretty cool because nobody's really done that yet. You know, I saw a video on a guy that made like a duck hunt, you know, game and like on work on a, a regular modern TV. Regardless, that's pretty cool. Now the younger generation can experience a lot of those light gun games that we, you know, we take for granted because we can't play them anymore. So anyways, guys, I did the math on this. So basically without the light gun, and I'm assuming this math is right, so this is what I got. Without the light gun, it's 215. You know, if you want to go all in and get the rig with the light gun, it's right around $240. I'm assuming there's probably a little bit more cost involved. They said they had like some kind of a controller adapter coming out, and that's pretty cool because you can use like original controllers, you know, on your PC. And there are other products out that can do that, but I think they want to offer one that can encompass like, you know, every controller, you know, kind of like the Retroblox is doing with their modules. Well, guys, I think this is a pretty cool project. I'm going to stay on top of it. I'm going to download it, test it out, and I'm going to let you know whether I think it's any good or not. I'm really hopeful for this project. I think that it will do well because, you know, some people might not want a Poly Mega. You know, you might have a stack of retro games in your house, and all you have is a PC, and it'll work with the software, you know, assuming you have the right, you know, it's like a, any kind of modern computer, not like a 1995 computer. But... All you have to do is get a couple, you know, 100 maybe $150 worth of extra parts, 
and now you can have this like amazing retro system or you know a laptop with an HDMI cable you know kick it out to your TV use your regular controllers that are made for the system and have a lot of fun well guys thanks for watching now remember to like this video remember to subscribe to the channel until next time peace out